Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Busty here. I wanted to pop on and talk about the long-term effects of stress, a really stressful time, right? So this would be if your body is under a heightened amount of stress for whatever reason, it doesn't matter the reason, that's something to keep in mind. There's a ton, of, I wanna say almost infinite reasons that your system would be under this extreme amount of stress but it's for a longer duration than what your body's used to or it's normal or whatever. And then what happens to your health overall long-term because of that? These things here, which we will go over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A couple of things before I jump right into the content here, um, just to announce. One is that the 12 week challenge that I have is full. Yay. So, Congrats to all the ladies who are in, who made it. Um, if you are still on the fence, um, we'll be talking about some other options here as well in just a minute. Um, but there is the next challenge that I do actually starts in October. So if you're on the lookout for that, October it starts. Registration would be then in September, which is a little bit away, right? Um, but if you're looking at like, oh, dang it, I really wanted to do something or I wanted to work on this. Um, the other option that I have is that I do have one-to-one -one availability to work with people. So that is something you can learn about more in the link right below. Uh, so I have a one-to-one -one program. Click the link for the Jumpstart one-to-one uh, -one program there uh, to learn about that. Because, yeah, our July 12-week challenge is full and closed. So that's a great thing. It's a great thing. Um, another really exciting thing to announce is that I have a, an, a, the addition of another doctor to my team, uh, Dr. Victoria Nelson. So I did a podcast with her. You can learn more about her on my podcast, The Female Health Solution. I'll be talking about that um, for the next week or two, just to remind you guys that, yep, I'm, I'm having a, a growing team, just to make sure that I am giving all the gals that I work with uh, the best service possible. Yes. Kara, I signed up. So excited. Yeah, Kara. Woo. Yes. I'm so excited. Um, so, okay. Those are some of, the, some of the announcements. I know sometimes I have to run through stuff in my head, right? Don't we all have lists going all the time? Like I'm sort of like creating a grocery list over here. Here's a list of other things and errands that need to be run this week. The list of, okay, yep. I got to call, call the orthodontist tomorrow because my kid's um, expander just fell out. Yep. This is a real thing. <laughs> all real life here. <laughs> That's what you get when you with me, right? There's no, I'm not fancy. You guys don't follow me for the fanciness, clearly. <laughs> Just not. You're here for the stuff, the good info. Yes. Which again, you can find here. You can, uh, again, work with me <laughs> for Naomi, right? So many lists, right? <laughs> There's more good info in my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon. Um, a good read it's a pretty fast read that's how I had it you know that's how I wrote it so it's pretty easy to absorb so there's that but let's talk about long-term stress so this is extreme stress the impact on your system for a longer amount of time there are some specific things I didn't realize I was color coding it till I got to about the green and I was like mm, I'm gonna keep going with it because it looks pretty so the first thing when your body's under stress for a, a, a heightened amount of extra a heightened event of stress for whatever reason, again, for a lot of people, the recent you know shift in society is stress, and a lot of people are still feeling that stress. That's a real stressor, that's a real impact on your body. You need to be aware of that. For some people, um, if they went through a trauma of some kind, maybe it was a, an assault, maybe there was um, you know, a problem in a relationship, you caught your husband cheating, or you know something like that, right? That's an absolute trauma and stressor in your body and in your life. Something with work, you know, something terrible happened at work, right? There's a, there's a ton of different reasons that you could have this extreme amount of stress. So realize that this whole gamut can be from a lot of different things because your system and your body reacts in a specific way. And super fun, the female body and the female brain reacts differently than the male body. Because mm -hmm. we're special. <laughs> so these are some of the things to realize here, okay? So first, you know, decreasing your metabolism. This is the general way of saying this. Decreasing your metabolism because your body is going to store more fat. Whatever it is you eat. Celery? <laughs> Storing it. Packing it away for you. You're welcome. That's what it's saying. So decreasing your metabolism. Increasing things like insulin resistance. So you're going to you know, have uh, blood sugars go up and down, make you have more cravings, all of that stuff. Um, weight loss resistance. 
all of those things kind of get grouped into decreasing your metabolism. So how, how do you reverse that, right? This is something that we do in the programs where I work with women. Because you're gonna need something specific and custom to you, what your body needs, and how to reverse that process. Because it's not just as simple as, oh, eat cleaner. You know, just don't eat so much, you know, so many cupcakes. No, no, your whole system is having this response and reaction that we need to calm and work with and shift from that place. That's how you get um, an improvement there. Other effects of uh, long-term stress, decreased immune system. So how does this show up? How do you know, right? Are you a person that gets sick really easily? Do you have uh, coughs, colds, things like that? Um, sometimes people will actually be more reactive to allergies. If it's like an allergy season for them, they'll be more reactive to certain allergies in the environment. This year, by the way, also super fun. Um, I live in Minnesota, right? I live in Minneapolis. So the allergy index for a lot of the area around here in the Midwest, highest it's been in almost a decade. Yeah, which means that with all of the <laughs> COVID and everybody worried about coughing and sneezing and stuff, people are coughing and sneezing because Allergies were the highest, the highest allergy index in years. Yeah, super fun. But also, if your system's under more stress, you're going to be more reactive to stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Um, it can even have a, an effect on like your healing, right? If you're under a lot of stress and you even get a cut, how fast is that going to heal? Not quite as quickly, right? If you're if you're going to get a cold or something, you're going to be more likely to get it. Maybe even get it a second time. Get it like the second time around. Yeah. Have you ever had that, right? Where uh, this used to be me all the time. This used to be me. I would get sick at the beginning of flu season or whatever in the fall. And then everybody else on my volleyball team would get sick. And then I'd get sick again at the end. I'd get it twice all the time. Yeah. Decreasing gut health. This means that you're going to have more bloating, right? You're going to feel like you're just not digesting your food. And some of you might be thinking, well, what does that mean? I don't, I'm not digesting my food. Uh, it means that you can feel it like sit in your gut like a rock or you're looking in the toilet like, oh yeah, I did not digest my food. Mm -hmm. Decreasing your gut health there. Yep, yep, that's a thing when your body's under long-term stress. Totally, yep. So really getting your digestive system to work and function better. Not only do you feel better, but it's a game changer, right? And it deals with your immune system and your metabolism as well. Decreasing muscle, another thing that your system will do, it will actually, the female body specifically does this. It will actually store what you're eating in fat, just in case as reserve energy, and it will break down your muscle tissue much faster, quicker and easier, and use that for energy. This is something that I will sometimes test women for because it's so key to understand what your body is doing. What your body is doing and when, and why is that happening? Is your body breaking down some of your muscle tissue, why? because it's under a lot of stress and it's trying to get that fast energy to make it through. And another piece here is it decreases your brain health. That's a very, again, generalized, um, <laughs> Katie, boo, Ella, not okay, right? Yeah, you can boo that. That's like, boo all of this. We're trying to change all this, right? Um, decrease in brain health, meaning um, you might notice more brain fog. Um, you're like, oh my gosh, my short-term memory sucks all of a sudden. Ugh. I can't remember this and that. This is more than just, oh yeah, I went in the other room and I forgot what I was coming in here to get, right? Like some of the little bit, where are my keys? You know, everybody has a little bit of that here and there, right? This is, if I tried to think about it, I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. This is, I really need to recall this thing and I'm having a hard time and it really sends your, like distracts your brain that you can't get it back on track. This is, you're having really terrible mood swings that you can't snap out of and you don't know why. This is, um, you know, with your brain health, you know, I put down here sleep as well. You're really having a hard time sleeping, resting, recovering, and feeling like you're waking up in the morning like, bing, Katie, I made it energy-wise till five today. Yes, right, lady? That's a, that's a huge win. That is a huge, huge win, making it till five o'clock energy-wise, yeah. And that's the thing too, feeling like you're not just like physically tired, but like mentally tired. Like I can't even process any more information tired. Like I'm so tired. I want to sit down and like relax and read a book, but I can't even read a book because I can't process the words brain fog fatigue. Yeah. 
Again, your neurotransmitters are not gonna be functioning and firing the same way when your body's been under a long-term stress. There's a whole lot of like other science, like days of lectures on this, this in general. But the biggest piece to realize is that your brain runs everything. This is like the puppet master, right? Everything else just is supposed to do what it says. So from top down, right? This is something to really keep in mind when we're working on things, which is why when I work with women, right? We're not just looking at, oh, let's get your metabolism. This is like a fat burning technique, blah, blah, blah. I mean, great. And I'm not saying that those things don't work. What I'm saying is that if you have an issue going on, you have to address all of the things that are in line with it, your entire system, because your health is cumulative and everything is connected. And if you're not putting together all the pieces of the puzzle, you're going to have half-assed puzzle with no result, right? So if you're feeling like that, like, oh my gosh, yes, yes, that's totally me. And you missed out on the 12 week because it is now full. And you're like, dang it, what do I do? Click the link in the comments to look at the next option because um, our next group does not start until October. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Yep. Okay. want to make sure. Yep. Dr. Victoria Nelson. So you guys will be hearing more from her. Um, she'll be doing some, you know, we did a podcast together. She's going to be dropping more info um, here and there uh, for us. She's amazing. She's amazing. I would love to just rave about her <laughs> right now, but this is, I'll get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> I've known her for years. Um, we used to work together uh, before uh, when I had a clinic. So um, she's an incredible, incredible resource. Very, very knowledgeable, excellent clinician. Um, very picky, very picky. So she's like one of the only people that I would, you know, bring on, bring aboard. Yes. So anyway, very excited about that. And then, oh yeah, other resources that I have for you. If you ever want more information, my videos are on my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. Plethora of information there. And if you're ever wondering about something and you're like, hey, I wonder about this women's health thing. Do you have a video on this or that? Send me a message. I'm here as a resource for you. If you're curious about something or how something would work, don't hesitate to reach out because there are so many different things we can dive into and talk about. But if you're wondering about something specifically, don't hesitate because... I'm here to give you the information you need to make the best choices for your health moving forward. All right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. I hope you have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.